hello everyone welcome back to key to blogging and today i am going to show you how you can add a html sitemap to your blog or website so as you can see that i have a html sitemap where all of the blog posts are listed along with the labels showing in the right side and you can filter out between the categories like this so you can select the category and it will list out all the blog post within the category so we have four different types of html sitemap for blogger so let's start with the basic one but before that let me explain what is xml sitemap and what is html sitemap so xml sitemap is a code based sitemap where the google bot will crawl the xml sitemap and discover the pages on your website and index them in google search result whereas html sitemap is for your visitors where visitors can navigate between pages and open different pages it's like a map for the real visitors but xml sitemap is a map for the google bot or other search related bots so here we are talking about the html sitemap which is used for visitors so let's check how we can do that so for this we are going to log into our blogger dashboard and we need to go to the pages section and let's click on new page and here we are going to use a code like this so let me copy the first style here and i will switch to the html view now let me paste it here now you need to change your website url here so as you can see that you need to change the website url and rest it same for all of the website now let me publish it and let's click on confirm now let me open it and as you can see that this is the simple html sitemap where you don't find the label and it will list out all of your blog post like this so whenever you add new blog post it will automatically add that link here in the sitemap page now let's go to the sitemap version 2 so let me click on new page here and let me set the title sitemap 02 and let me copy the second one so let me click on here and let me copy it and let me paste it now let's publish it and let me open it here and as you can see that it will list all of your pages along with the category links so if you click on any of the category it will open that in a category page but in case of sitemap 01 there is no category links here and it is also mobile responsive just click on inspect and you can see it is fully mobile responsive this is how it shows in mobile devices so let me close it here let me go back to the html sitemap 02 let me open it in a mobile view here and this is how it shows in mobile sitemap 02 as you can see that we have multiple category assigned to this blog post let's scroll down here and you can see this is how the html sitemap looks now let's go to the third html sitemap so i will click on new page and let's copy the third one with drop down filter so let me copy it and let me paste it here let's publish it and as you can see that this is how the html sitemap looks with a filter option so you can click on here and you can filter all of the list so let's click on page speed let's switch to wordpress and let's switch to affiliate marketing or seo so you can see that this is how this html sitemap looks and you can further customize the look of this html sitemap like this so let me click on paste speed and you can see there is a background color and it set a minimum height for the html sitemap so you can further customize that by going to the html code here and go to the css code and you can further customize it suppose you don't want the box arrow effect then you can simply add a command line here so that it will remove the box arrow option and you can also remove that minimum height so let me comment this two line now let me update it or you can also change that background color as well so let me remove that background color now let's hit update and let's refresh this page and you can see that there is no minimum height set that's why it has opened a slight bit different 
and as you can see that the background color is now removed and that box shadow effect is now gone let's click on paste speed here and as you can see there is no minimum height set on this side map so let's select seo category and this is how it looks now let's switch to the mobile view and as you can see that we have an additional filter option so you can choose any of the side map and use it in your blogger website and we have the fourth version so let's go back and let me create a new page here and let's copy the fourth code here so make sure to change the website url here after that the post will be shown on your html sitemap so let's confirm that and let me open this new page and this is how this level looks like so you can add as many levels you can filter out between these levels if you want to add more levels so let me go to post and let me assign a new level here so let me create a new level e-commerce and let me update it and let me click on here and let me add a category like Shopify and let me click on here and let's add a level with Chrome and let me update it now let's go to the sitemap page and let me refresh it and as you can see that we have chrome affiliate marketing and the new shopify button is now added automatically so this is how you can add a html sitemap to your blogger website so you can also go to this page and let's refresh it and you can see all of the levels are now listed in the filter option so in this way you can add a html sitemap to your blogger website and i will include the code link in the description so you can get all the code so you can use any of the code you want so it depends upon your website layout and it depends upon your use cases and you can further customize the look and feel of this html sitemap like you can change this color you can change this border color here you can change the background color you can increase the font size so you can do that by going to the edit option so let's go back let's go to the pages and let me click on simple sitemap 02 and here you can see all the options like you can change the background color you can change the border radius you can change the box shadow effect and here you can change the padding of this list so you can change this padding so let's change that so let's change the top padding to something like 20 pixel and let me update it and let me refresh it and as you can see that the padding has now increased you can also change this color as well so let me scroll down and here you can see level bottom so you can change that so let me change it to red color let's update it and let me refresh it and as you can see that the button color is now changed to red you can also change this border as well so let's scroll off and here you can see border left so you can change that to red let's update it and let me refresh it and you can see that the border color is now changed and you can also change the color in hover state as well so this is how you can further customize the html sitemap so if you have any doubt regarding this you can ask me in the comment section and if you found this video helpful then make sure to hit the like button and i will see you in the next one bye bye